square, dude. Get the fuck over all this damn shit, man. My God, dude, you coming online bitching about fucking who you gonna block and who's blocking who and who's doing what? I, dude, just give it up, man. God damn, just get let it go and move the fuck on. You want people to leave you the hell alone? Then stop playing in this stupid shit, man. You come on here and bitching about people fucking wanting uh, yesterday bitching about uh people wanting to be nice to people, wanting to get along and shit. And, and then as soon as somebody comes in your chat, like, you're fucking, you're like, you were supposed to apologize to me and take all your videos of my content down. I never apologized to you, Square. I've never done anything to you. you never done anything to me. Nobody needs to apologize to anybody. Goddamn, dude. Fuck. Motherfucker, like, literally, I go in the dude's chat for the first time in a couple of months. And they're talking about some true crime bullshit about that Dolly Vision guy that does the true crime videos that used to stream with Up Church or something. And I was like, yeah, he's with this this damn woman that everybody hates in the true crime community or something. You know, I just responded, you know, just whatever. Trying to be cool, fuck, man. And he's like, who's that, Wake and Slick? I don't know nobody named that. I don't know who that is. What are you doing? You better not just say nothing in here. You better take all my videos down off your channel and you better apologize to me. You know what, Square? Fuck you, Squatler! Fuck you! That's what I think of your apology, Squatler! You goddamn rich Nazi! Fuck you! Okay. Look, man, I got nothing against you, Square. Not for real. Not like that. Like, I don't hate you. You just get on my nerves sometimes, you know? But, like, I ain't got nothing against you. Nothing personal. Goddamn, dude, the only videos on my fucking channel are of me. 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 Well, whatever. I, I almost did the damn, like, the fucking Catholic cross across me or some shit. But it's a, it's a me on here. I ain't got no damn shit of yours on my fucking channel. And the videos talking about you is all true square. You do get high and come online fucked up and say stupid shit, man. You just do. It's funny sometimes. And other times it's annoying. And you say, I'm not an act of addiction. The hell you aren't. You get high and get fucked up on your damn medication. And come online and talk shit. Everybody knows it. Stop tiptoeing around that bullshit. Goddamn, man. You can't handle the truth, Square. Stop, man. Just cut it out. Just cut it the fuck out. Damn. This shit been getting on my nerves. I don't know. Got me all fucking sorts of... I don't know. It gets me out of character sometimes. It just pisses me off. Like, I don't know. Damn, he's like, you're supposed to make a video apologizing to me, but the hell I am, I ain't apologizing to you for shit, because I ain't done nothing to you, Square. The only videos I made of you was either telling the damn truth, trying to tell you, uh, two of them, the last two, two weeks ago, I ain't made a video about you in two weeks, but the last two I made were trying to tell you how to get the damn trolls quit fucking with you, but you don't listen to no damn body, because you think you know every goddamn thing, except the problem is you come on the damn internet asking everybody to help you every goddamn fucking five minutes, man. Nobody owes you shit. Nobody can help you because you can't help yourself. And the first time anybody tried to give you any damn advice, you say, oh, well, that ain't right. I can't do it. You know what? Because you don't want to believe what the hell people are telling you. You don't want to believe that it's true. You want people to come online and say, oh, poor square, you're being bullied by everybody. And maybe some, some of it you are. I don't know. I really don't care that damn much, honestly. I just don't. But... The problem is you keep playing into it, man. And that's that's cool, man, because it's entertaining, dude. It's entertaining watching you put on a shit show. It really is. Hearing you come online fucked up and act crazy, what, whatever, man. But, no, you, you don't need help, man. And the people that do try to help you, you don't take their advice. And that's your fucking right to do so. And if you don't, whatever, man. You just want somebody to come online and kiss your ass and tell you, oh, you're such a victim, you're so brave, you're such a brave, strong individual because you're a... you're. You're disabled. You're a disabled individual, and you're so strong and brave, and you're stunning and brave. You come online, and and you 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 fight through it, and you you battle through the the, the persecution or whatever. I don't know. And you want them to, to troll other people on your behalf so you can hide behind them and point and laugh. He 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 he. Yeah yeah. Take that. Take that. Yeah yeah. That's right. I'm not I'm not retarded. I'm not a rich Nazi. <laughs> I'm not this. I'm not that. And this and that, and shit like, I don't know, that's what they're going to say. Damn it, that got me fired up, man. I heard his little fucking bullshit live feed a second ago. Man, I couldn't see it through more than two, three minutes of that shit. I was like, this motherfucker, really? 
Really? He's like, I, I guess I'll unblock Moses Heaps, and uh, I, I better unblock the mustard squirrel. And it's like, what the fuck, man? If you want to unblock the people, then do it. If you don't square, then fucking don't, dude. Goddamn. There's way more important shit going on in the world of the goddamn the, the little troll community right now in damn ways. What in the hell's going on with the Hooters, man? I heard one of the damn, uh, one of the, the Hooting families is damn come online the other day accusing Scooter Baggins of, of, like, trying to steal his wife or some shit, man. I heard this on that, uh, oh, what's her name? Miss L. That, that, she used to go by Miss L. I heard that on her stream earlier. What in the fuck is going on? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't really know the Hootons very well. I mean, I, I kind of know Harley. I mean, like, I I know Harley from, like, the chat rooms and stuff, you know, watching, like, live streams and shit on here. I don't really know her husband too well. I mean, again, other than just from the comment section, but, like, what the hell, man? What brought that on? Like, I don't know. Apparently something going on behind the scenes, but nobody, everybody's been all hush-hush about it, but everybody keeps mentioning it, though, so I'm like, fuck's out, man. And for the love of God, man, that this darky shit, everybody's like, man, when you gonna make a darky video? Man, I, there's nothing funny about that shit, man. That dude beat the hell out of that damn girl and strangled her and uh, shit. One of them, the things I seen said, uh, she told the cops or told somebody that he had done strangled her like ten fucking times, man. That shit's crazy. That dude deserved to be in damn uh, jail. And if he go to prison for it, he deserved that shit too, man. He's been doing this shit for years. I seen a thing on uh, Guitar Fingers posted earlier where uh, Donald had said he talked to Bo, and Bo's trying to act like it was somehow his fault that Durkey did that damn shit. Bullshit, man. That's damn Durkey's fault. He's been doing this shit for years. And old Billy, old Billy Earl, old Billy, old big brother Billy, big baby Billy, he come online and tried to blame all the haters, tried to blame Scooter Baggins and the trolls and all that shit. It ain't nobody trolling fucking Durkey that got him in trouble. It was Durkey being out of his fucking meds or some shit like that or somebody pissed his little pathetic man-child ass off and he went upside that damn girl's head. That's whose damn fault it is. It's Durkey's fault. Shit ain't even been on the internet much the last few months. He ain't even been live streaming. Ain't hardly nobody been posting any damn videos about that boy. He been sitting in his damn bedroom with his little girlfriend getting high for the last four or five fucking months. Ever since old girl showed up down there. Man, y'all out your mind if you think anybody's fault other than damn dirty for that shit. That pissed me off a little bit. It really did. It made me mad. But apparently it made Donald mad too because he wasn't real happy. She, old Bo tried to say it was somehow part of his fault. But no. Man, that, and that's why Durkey is the way he is because his family makes excuses for it and blames other people instead of holding Durkey accountable for his bullshit actions. And that is exactly why that boy is the way he is. And he'll never change. And it's only going to get worse, too, because with abusive people like that, that, they don't never change unless life just absolutely forces them to. Shit, Durkey going to get it. I, oh, my God. I bet he's having a time in the damn uh, in jail. And shit, he's just in county right now. He's in the little regional lockup up there, man. That ain't nothing like prison, man, shit. I mean, you know, county can be rough, I've heard, but, man. They, the people I've known has actually done, like, hard time. Like, in, for real, in the pen, like, it, they say county is a breeze compared to the actual fucking prison. So, if that boy gets some time out of that shit, yeah. And if he's got a bond that's $150,000, yeah, he's probably going to get some time out of this. He's probably going to get about a year, six months to a year, if I had to guess. I mean, I don't know how the laws work up there and all that shit, but I bet he will. And he deserves every damn second of it, man. Shit. He's been doing this shit for at least the last decade. At least. Every damn girl he's been with, that when they've left him, he'll come back with the same kind of fucking stories saying that he done fucking, uh, that he was abusive towards them. It's always the same shit. Pulling their hair and strangling them and choking them and shit. And same old shit, man. Same shit. So I, I don't know. Again, there's just nothing funny about it. He's a little fucking punk. And he deserves whatever fuck he gets. I don't know. Him and Square really ain't all that much different. They both, uh, they both little man child. Durkey living off his mommy and stepdaddy. Square living off his eight seven year old grandpa. And oh, the, the other thing I heard Square say earlier that he wasn't going to unblock one guy because he said something about Square's grandfather dying. Well, guess what, Square? Your grandpa's not going to live forever, dude. He's eighty seven years old. You got five years tops, tops. I'd say you probably got two to three to make something of your life and get the hell on and find a way to support yourself, man, because old Papa, 
at that age, man, they, they, I'm telling you, man, that it ain't, he ain't gonna be around much longer, dude. It's just how it works, man, when you get to that age. Like, he may be in okay health now, but man, they can go down, I mean, just just like that, man. One day, the here, next day, you're gone kind of deal, dude. I'm for real, like, he can be in good health one day and shit, be gone the next, man, at that age. You ain't, ain't nothing from, especially after, you know, after 85, 86, 87, man. You, closer you get to 90, man, it's, it ain't good, dude. And if you you having to depend on uh, Grandpa for all your shit, dude, to pay for everything and put a roof over your head and all that shit, you better make some changes, dude, because you think the Internet's bad and being tough on you, man? Wait till the real world gets a hold of you, man. I'm for real. like Just wait till you ain't got no fucking money and you ain't got nowhere to go and nobody in your family wants to take you in, man. That's when reality's going to fucking bite you right in the ass, dude, if you ain't careful, so. I'm gonna make some changes and instead of worrying so much about what the hell somebody on the internet saying about you, even though most of it's true, you're saying doing all kind of stupid shit. Instead of worrying about that, worry about making some fucking moves in life, dude, to get you a job and make some money. You say you're gonna try to go to school for something. Well fuck man, do it. But in the meantime, get you a job, man. You might have fucking depression and anxiety, but dude, goddamn everybody's done had that. I mean most everybody in their life. He's fucking been diagnosed with some kind of shit like that at least one time or another, dude. And then you talking about your disabilities was depression and anxiety and opiate disorder, dude. That's called addiction, Square. That is addiction, dude. Come on, man. Fuck, man. There's a damn dude on this uh, YouTube shit that's a fucking paraplegic in a goddamn wheelchair, man. Dude can't walk, man. And he... He despises people that fucking play themselves, their disability up to act like a goddamn victim, man. Shit, Ricky Berwick. Dude's severely disabled. Been that way since he was born, man. He don't act like no victim. He constantly run around going, but I'm disabled. You know what he does? He makes the best of his situation and makes some hilarious fucking videos. Actually, somebody paid for a cameo of him the other day about you, Square. You ought to go over to Mr. Fusion and watch it. It's kind of funny. I thought it was. I like Ricky, though. He's a funny dude. But man, Square, these are people that are really like severely disabled and they don't they don't make a big deal about it. Because nobody fucking cares, dude. Nobody wants to hear that shit. Nobody wants to hear you whine and nobody wants to hear you bitch and moan about how, how horribly disabled you are. Dude, you got depression and anxiety, man. Go get some professional help, deal with it, and move on with your life, Square. And no, for the record, I'm not going to apologize to you, Square, for nothing, man. I ain't done nothing to you, and you ain't did nothing to me. And uh, as far as taking down your content off my channel, fuck you, Square. I ain't got none of your content on my damn channel, but you piss me off sometimes. And every now and then, I'll make a damn video about you, and I wasn't planning to make another video about you. But by God, you give me a damn wrench back last night, for the first time in a couple of months, and you took that damn thing away, you goddamn Nazi. You wrench Nazi, Squidler. You are a wrench Nazi. You get the damn thing out and then take it away. God giveth and Squintler taketh away. Give me back my damn wrench. Not really. I don't give a fuck about the wrench, honestly. I just make a big deal out of it because you used to always make a big deal out of it when Cammy took yours away, but I don't know. Oh, my God. But somebody in the comments, man, what the hell? Y'all let me know. What the fuck's going on with the damn, uh, that story about Scooter Bag and supposedly stealing that dude's wife, man? What the fuck? I mean, Harley seems cool, but damn, man, I, I, I don't know. I wouldn't think Scooter Baggins would be trying to steal her away. Like, I don't know. But, hey, whatever, man. I don't know. That's an interesting one, though. I heard them talking about it this morning, or this afternoon, I guess. Oh, God. I only worked half a day today, so it's done throw my fucking day off. But, oh, uh, well, I don't know. But, yeah, I'm about, I'm about over all the fucking square bullshit. He just gets on my nerves these days. It really ain't that funny to me anymore. It's just annoying. And uh, the dirty shit, yeah, there ain't nothing funny about that shit, man. He's a fucking, he's an abusive fucking asshole. And he's a little man child just like Square he is. And I can only imagine how Square would be in a relationship with a woman. I ain't saying he'd be physically abusive, but we all know how manipulative he can be. At least that's how he comes across on this internet shit. And I can only imagine how manipulative he'd be in a relationship with a woman, but I don't know. Hell, I'm almost 15 minutes on here. I'm gonna get the fuck off of this damn shit. I, I, I suppose. I always say that, and then I go on and ramble on for a few more minutes, but I don't know. 
just a lot of shit getting on my nerves lately, honestly. I, in the, you know, I, I don't know. In the dirty shit, man. That dude deserves every damn thing he gets, man. He's been abusing abusing women like this probably all his damn adult life. Every damn time he gets in a relationship. So, I, I don't know. It's bullshit, though. And hopefully he stays in fucking jail. Because ain't nobody in his family got that kind of money to bail him out. And it, ain't none of them even really got any property worth that to... They put up a bond to get him out, you know. So he deserves whatever the fuck he gives. Man. Oh well, y'all have a good night, good weekend, whatever. See y'all, folks, the fuck later. And goddamn it, Squitler, I am not apologizing to you. My response to your uh, for you asking for an apology is the same as it was earlier. Fuck you. I think I've made myself clear on this matter. You guys have a fine weekend. See you later. I am Tom Leak, and I am out.